Grant Wood on fire. Uh, was it a big price first up? Did he run above your expectations that day? Yeah, 100% he did. Um, he uh, ran a real good race first up. Obviously, he just really green. I got in, I was a little bit slow at the pins. Um, I got into a half-decent position. He recovered nicely from that, and um, he ran on pretty well. Um, he's a horse that's maturing, um, and his trial the other day with me was pretty good, so I'm hoping he, he, uh, I could start the day well. Fitness-wise, given that he'd only had one trial leading into that first run, how much has he come on since then? Yeah, he came on quite a bit. Um, as I said, his, his, his recent trial with me was pretty good, and he feels like he has improved, so... He's got a very good barrier, um, so I'll be in the right position with him and um, hopefully I can start the day off well, as I said. When you say the, the right position with him, he was handy in that trial. Um, is he versatile tactically based on the race and the trial? Yes, 100%. He, you know, it looks like he can come from off them and be up there. Um, but again, a trial, a trial in Hong Kong doesn't mean anything. <laughs> um, it's, it's at the races what count the most and as I said, it just... He did feel like he has improved, but obviously at the races it's different. Um, they go pretty a lot quicker in the races, and I, I'm pretty sure he'll run a good race. Vincent, you ride star of Yunlong on the weekend. Uh, how's he felt in his trials that you've ridden him in? Yeah, he has been good, um, but you know he's a bit nervous and race day. You know it, it doesn't jump clear, and that's his only concern but um, been trialling well uh, and the gate was all right so hopefully you know just keep him calm and if he jump clean and he should be competitive. Have you had any issues with him in the gates in your experience with him? Uh, so far well touch wood okay um, so we'll see on Sunday uh, obviously um, race day is a you know, it's different because the pressure is on and horses, you know, they, they, they get, uh, you know, a bit more nervous and, you know, just, just try to stay calm on him and, you know, try to make him relax a bit more um, so he, he can jump clean, yeah. On natural ability, can he be competitive on Sunday? Yeah, definitely. Um, and fitness-wise, it's okay. Um, yeah, I got good up, uh, ability in this class as well. So, yeah, it should be okay. John Beauty Generation beaten last time out at the end of a 10-race winning streak. You've had a rival trainer this week say that champions can turn into has-beens overnight. Is he still a champion? No, definitely. That, that was from my point of view was not a, not a correct statement. Um, circumstances, last start, um, cost him the race. You know, he is carrying the grandstand, as we'd say, in that race. And, and um, you know, it was breaking a track record first up. It, it took a lot out of him. And uh, maybe the run came a bit too close, you know, and he got beat. But he had to go back and accept um, what went on. But um, leading into this race, um, he's done everything right. His weight's right on. His work yesterday was exemplary. The uh, work rider was, uh, um, you know, said that he's done everything right. He believed that the, the horse uh, uh, would be winning the race on, uh, on Sunday. When I spoke to you leading into his last run, you were concerned about gate two and he did get boxed in that day. You're drawn one on Sunday. Do you have the same concerns? No, I don't, because I think there'll be a little bit different game plan this time. You know, I know they've got Simply Brilliant in there and I know they have Ka Ying Star. But I'm, I'm sure Zach and I will have, have a chat with respect to making sure that uh, we don't get locked in on the fence or whatever, whatever. Um, as I said, this horse is seriously fit at the moment. Um, if uh, Ka Ying Star or Simply Brilliant want to really go eye to eye, eyeball earlier on, I'm sure Zach will be into it. You know, and, and just test them. With respect to Beauty Generation, I believe that he can eyeball them for a great, you know, a great part, um, uh, early part of the race on the, on the weekend, and, and then we see whether they can keep up that uh, that uh, that pace um, and eyeball him. So uh, no, it, it will be different on Sunday. And as I said, um, as far as I'm concerned, I, I think he'll be winning the race. And uh, and the uh, and the riding boy who's, who rides him every morning has said the same thing. 
rise high, Vincent. You beat Beauty Generation last time out. Uh, that was quite something. Yeah, um, definitely is a good horse, although with a weight different, but it's still, still, you know, it, his uh, his fitness is getting there as well. Uh, so hopefully he can also run good and hopefully win this time and be top fit in for the international. What about taking on Exultant here, another superstar of Hong Kong racing? Yeah, um, you know, last last season he got beat by Exultant not far away. Uh, so 2000. Um, it should be very competitive. Yeah. Does he feel fitter since that last start run? Uh, he gallops well, so you know, and and uh, yeah, I think he, he should be getting better and better. Yeah. You've obviously got a pretty good relationship with the horse too, Vincent. Uh, three rides, two wins, a, a second. You get along with him well. Um, well, need to thank you to my ex-boss who put me on him. Um, you know, and and when he's getting getting uh, mature and fitter for Hong Kong, uh, it's just the timing, you know. Uh, so thank you to him and the owner who support me. Karis Athero, you've ridden some very good horses in your time. Does he give you the feel of a very good horse? Yes, uh, of course. Uh, he gave me a very good uh, good feel in the trial. Um, he feels like he's uh, he's got a lot to to improve, and but just the the feel he gives you, it's uh, it's like a good horse will give you. So a lot to improve upon. He's up against the big boys on Sunday. Can he measure up at this early stage of his career? Do you think? Well, he, so far he's done most of his things right. You know, uh, he just have the, the the one bad run where things did not work his way. But then he, you know, he went down the street, and, and of course, uh, uh, winning winning on that time was was impressive. And you know, everybody has been talking highly about him. Uh, like I said, he gave me a good feel, and and of course, it's about time for him to take on the big boys. Uh, he's still a young horse, but uh, like John, John seems to be pretty confident. He's gonna go out and he's gonna do very well. Draw nine. What will you do from there? Uh, I've I've watched most of his races. Uh, he, he he seems to to be. When Zach rode him before around the turn, just to let him come out, he, he, sometimes he doesn't fly out pretty fast. Then he lets him get into his momentum where he can, when he can use his his action. So I'm actually happy we got a we got a bit on the outside gate. So you know um, I, I, he will have a chance to to get in his momentum with the lightweight. So wherever he's happy, just to leave him alone. One one three is his weight for the race. Um, I know you ride light regularly, but what does it take for you to ride this light? Uh, just to have a burger between before races. <laughs> now I'm pretty light, uh, riding light for me is just normal. Um, but you know, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I must say I'm very lucky because I can ride light, you know, just to pick up horses like that, uh, it, it's very good.